Hello everyone, John Waffle HTV here. I'm just going to get to the point. I'm not in a very happy mood right now. And honestly, this is going to be a rant. Mark Ripple. Probably one of the best coordinators we have we have had here, at least in the 21st century. Gets no raise, gets nothing. And the school just lets him walk. I don't know if I should be blaming just the school because I don't know who's the leadership. But Heather Like, uh, Coach Narduzzi, what the hell are you guys doing? He is one of the sole reasons we are in the position we are in now. And you let the guy walk? This is... I'm not, uh, I, I am beyond pissed, um, beyond pissed. Why are our coaches being taken care of? You see, this is the weak ass leadership we have going around this university. No one wants to pay the coaches. No one cares about football. They only care six win season and all that bull crap. That is bullshit. And that's one of the reasons we can never get back to the top with Penn State, Ohio State, and Notre Dame. One of the reasons. There's other reasons, but that's really the main one. <laughs> um, now, I don't know where we go from here. I think we're going to lose some transfers. Oh, my God. God, I think we're going to lose some transfers. I don't know if Pickett's going to play in the Peach Bowl. I mean, I don't want to sound negative, guys, but my God, he's not even coaching the Peach Bowl, unfortunately. They couldn't do this shit until after the freaking Peach Bowl. He should have gotten a damn raise. He deserved it. We wouldn't be anywhere without him. And I think he's better than Narduzzi. That's what I'm saying right now. This is absolutely bullshit that, that we just let a man who got us an ACC championship walk. We have an Heisman contending quarterback that's going to be in New York in a few days, and we let his coach walk. That's why I'm pissed right now. God damn it. After everything... Everything! We finally win an ACC championship, and this bullshit happens. And I know there's people on here that criticized him in the past, and, and, I'm pro and I'm one of them, but still, are you kidding me, people? If you people are like, oh, I'm glad he's gone, get out of here! And, and who the hell are we going to hire? Who are we going to hire? No one from the NFL is coming to pick. If we can't pay our freaking offensive coordinator after he wins a freaking ACC championship, what? How, who would want to come here? That's bull crap. I mean, people are acting positive over this. This isn't positive at all. If, the, if he went six and four, this would have been a totally different story. A totally different story, man. So hey, if anyone's happy about this, get the hell out. This is absolute effing bullshit. My God. Heather Like, what the hell are you doing? I'm serious. What the hell are you guys doing? Is the school having budget problems again? I mean, are you two dicking around with the uh, uh, Olympic facility that you got? You, you wanted the plan instead of actually building a freaking new stadium? You want to waste all our money on the facilities of lacrosse and stuff? No offense to those sports, but <laughs> that Victory Roads thing, if that's still a thing, that was a complete, the most dumbest thing I've ever heard because we're playing at Heinz Field for football and we can't pay our damn coaches. So what are we doing? What the hell are we doing? I mean... The same thing for basketball. We're joke. 
An absolute joke. We had that freaking Peterson event center. And I'm going in the funds now, people. We're paying off for that crap, but we can't pay the good coach. My God. And I am apologizing for rambling. I'm not attacking any other sports here at all. I'm just trying to get to the point. The Pitt Athletics the leadership is complete garbage. They don't know how to run funds. They're, they're, they basically act like we're poor, which, uh, and honestly, we're not Alabama. No one's donating, and I'm not donating too much either. But still, I mean, we're, we're wasting money on garbage. I mean, we had a bunch of clouds in here. This whole damn leadership, we, for the last freaking 30 years, 30 years has been a bunch of clowns. Uh, we had that guy from Nebraska. I'm not even going to say that fool's name. He, we've hired him twice after he fucked up Nebraska. Yeah, I said it. That's how pissed I am right now. He screwed up our program twice. He destroyed our stadium. He fired, uh, he fired our coach. After winning like 10 games, I think, that year. It's absolute clown fest. It, this pisses me off. Okay? So all you people, West Virginia fans, Penn State fans, trolls from other teams, you got your laugh. Uh, there you go. But, I mean, this is a clown fest that we let the shit happen. Absolute garbage. Anyways, guys, I'm going to get off of here. I'm not, I don't want to think about this pitiful decision. I mean, we should be thinking about the freaking Peach Bowl, which I was planning on getting tickets. I don't know anymore. Who knows who's going to be playing now? This whole team may be screwed up by then. And I'm not trying to say I don't have any trust in the team, but I don't when leadership is bad. And this leadership is terrible. I'm going to say that, that those coaches should have been paid. This is going to be a circus. The president of the university doesn't care. The Heather Light doesn't care. Narduzzi doesn't care. And this should be a happy moment, but no. I've seen it before. I've seen it before. I've seen it before at other places when you don't have the same vision as the same, the president and the Athletic director, don't have the same vision as the coaches. It's not going to work. It's never going to work. And unfortunately, uh, the latter wins. So whoever thinks I'm being negative, giving up on the team, no, I'm not. I'm just seeing how it is. And until I see something, until I see like change, I in this leadership and in and these officials get their head out of their ass. I'm not. I'm not confident. Because I haven't been in this whole administration up since like uh, 2000. That's that's what that's what pisses me off. So, anyways, guys, I'm gonna get off of here. Uh, as always, guys, uh, I'm pissed, but hail to pit, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.